So I'm going to present real shortly on Felt Man. Um, like it says, what it does is it scans log files with a bunch of regex rules, basically, and will ban any IPs that are attempting to do bad things, basically. So, um, there's packages for pretty much everything. And so, for whatever distro you're using, just typically, you know, apt install feltaban or yum install feltaban. And then what you're going to want to do is probably increase your font size, if I knew how. Dude, that's like huge. That's awesome. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> Death Star. <laughs> You good? Yeah. Do, you have one called, do you have a machine called Alderaan? No. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> it was destroyed. That was my point. <laughs> well, there. That's why I was asking. <laughs> <laughs> so then you're, once it's installed... You're going to want to do that to copy the gel.conf to gel.local so that you can make your changes in the in the local one so that as it if it updates it can pull in new settings without overriding your own basically. And then So if we look in the configure here, we have a an action D and a filter D filter. And basically in this action D you've got config files for all the actions that felt a band can take and so it can use things like IPFW all the various IP tables systems um, host deny and then it can use it can mail you information or shore wall basically stuff and so the default is IP tables multiport. And so this defines So you have action start. So what happens when Feltaband starts up? It creates a couple of chains basically. And when it stops, it takes those chains away. But then, you basically have the ban command here that when it reaches an IP, it bans, that it adds it to the proper filter ban chain with the IP and just drops it. And then there's also an unban down here for unbanning those IPs. Uh, is a chain like a sequence of rules? Or yes. And then in filter, you have all the filters which define the various log files and stuff and services that I that Feltaban can watch. And so I basically had originally downloaded this for this one. So basically, this one, so what you have in here, is you have this badge scripts variable that just sets up a bunch of badge scripts, and then you have your fell regex. So this is the actual regex that Feltaban is looking for in the log file, and that's where that badge scripts variable goes, so it puts all those in there. And then you also have an ignore regex that you can use to offset this file regex. And so basically this is just full of errors. See if I can find one.
So, when something tries to access the site for something that doesn't exist, you know, you get that in the log file that the file does not exist, PHP my admin. And so this, you know, has that client host, this is how it finds the IP, file does not exist. And so this basically just, if anybody's trying to scrape your website, or your server looking for basically something to exploit like PHP my admin or any of the dozens of things that are up here then Felta ban watches that and then in your gel.local this is where you define what gets banned so you have your ignore IP to you can ignore <coughs> various IPs your ban time is how long Things get banned by default? No. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think the ban time is the is the window that felt a ban is looking in, so that if the same IP tries the same a single action three times within 3,600 seconds, then it's that's when it kicks in to ban it. You can see here that the, the ban action is set to that IP tables multi-port. And then and then you can do actions like this. So basically this is the default one. That's just gonna take that ban action and apply it to the name of the the IP tables chain and then the ports and the protocols. But you can also do stuff like this where you send an email when it, after it's been banned and then you can send an email with a big report on what was banned and stuff and then here you set up the gel so you can see like for SSH it's enabled the port for SSH <coughs> use the SSHD filter this is the log file to watch and that if they try three failed attempts basically then they get banned. Um, so they're really yeah, but that's only banned for a period of one hour. It's so it def defaults to the 3600 seconds, is that what you I think that was the window to look in combination with max retries. So no, nope, yeah, that ban time is the 3600, because this fine time is, is what it looks in. I'm not sure what the default fine time is. Probably, for probably like 300. Because it would want to be shorter because it wanted to be going quickly to get through all of it. Yeah. Is this a, a service, a daemon that, that runs? Like, how does it. Uh, yeah, it's, a d it's just a daemon that runs. How does it keep track of, um, of uh, how long something is going to be? Like, does it just kind of play every so often to, to look for anything that's expired and come back? Um. For to how to unban stuff? Yeah. I think just uh, well, it has its um. Its log file here, so you can see that. It logged that it banned this one, then it unbanned. It, you know, a couple hours later, basically. One hour. One hour. Whatever. I can't do math that fast. <laughs> so 3,600 seconds is. 13 um, subtract 12 is. So. I don't know if the program, it, I think the program itself, the daemon as it's running, just keeps it in internal memory of when it bans stuff and when it needs to unban stuff. I'm not positive. I'm not. And yeah, that's basically what it does. I have. So I have, you know, filters set up for SSH brute force attacks, um, bad bots, which are spiders that try to crawl the site, no script, which are hacking attempts. And then I have another one that set, that's set up to watch this felt a ban log. And if it finds that it's banned like the same IP multiple times, then it just perma bans them. 
shots. Yep. Yep. What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah, you can change you can change the action so you can use like host and I and stuff like that, but IP tables is the default kind of thing. Did you set up all those rules yourself, or is there like a website where uh, um, good, rule, good rules for all that are uh, located? Most of the rules come come with it. <laughs> That's my custom chain. <laughs> it drops everything. Pretty much. It's mostly banning robots and stuff. And oh, MSN. Spinner.com. Because MSN drives me nuts. I'll tell you where to sit um, just fine because you can see here that it uses its own chains for each rule set. So you can figure yours as normal, and then you start to show the as additional. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it adds its chains when it starts up, and then just pops rules in and out. And then when you shut down felt to ban it, deletes its chains. So it's pretty. So it probably just keeps all of its um, band history stored somewhere else. So when it starts up, it adds an No, if you if you shut it shut it down, it'll delete all its chains, and when you turn it back on, you you basically unbanned everything. Gotcha. Yeah, that's one minor bad thing. Um, but as far as rules, I mean. In this, all these came with it except for this Apache proxy one that I wrote and this felt a bad one. But the rest came with it. And and most of the like the stuff I grabbed they've got the how to on their website that there will be some how to's on various ones, you know. And I think this is where the proxy one comes from. So yeah, you can find stuff. But it's, it's pretty easy if you can, if the if the log file has a pattern in it to write your own. What is it written? Python. Is the is what the damage is. Okay. That's my bits. Hey. Okay. <coughs> so, you know, For the IP tables command or? Yeah, because IP tables got to the, I think it's like messages or, yeah. but yeah, like what I've done recently is like we changed the system to, so we can split out different logs for like, so we don't have like a two word two word and do this. And I have different critical levels, so we don't have so much noise going through the one log for one. Yeah. Well, felt felt band reads whichever log file for whatever service. So for like, for all the Apache stuff, it reads the Apache logs. So, so if you have many logs, you need a dot No, you can actually put in like the star wild card. So for like the Apache error lo logs, you know, it's just like var log Apache star kind of thing. So it can read all those. 
Delta Bay? Yeah, that runs on my server. Keep all the scrape kitties out. <laughs> 